And I'm excited to bring you this video because this battery is not even released yet. This is the Blue Eddy B300K that's gonna be compatible with the AC300, AC500, and the AC200L. I'm gonna get this unboxed and we'll take a look at it. Allow me to cut in here real quick because this is compatible with the AC200 Max, the AC300, the AC200L, and the AC500. And personally, this is something I really like about Blue Eddy is that their packaging is superb because they put it a box inside of a box. And when we open this one up, it's even gonna be protected inside of that box as well. So all of their products that I've ever received has this type of packaging. And that may seem petty, but not all companies put this much detail into their packaging. Usually that's a good sign of a company that cares about the quality. They wanna make sure you're getting a good experience from the get-go. However, there are disadvantages for these heavy items to be boxed like this. So the way that I do it, is just fold them over like that and then turn this over and then turn this over and pull it out. And I'll just turn it back over <laughs> and open it up. cable and my first impression that I notice is that this is significantly shorter than the B300S that I have on my AC500 that's powering this shop right now. I really do like the idea that it's a lot shorter. The form factor has a less of a footprint than the B300S. And there is a couple things that I noticed right off the rip is this is not something you would want to charge with a solar system. And to be honest with you, I welcome that change because that's something that's on batteries that I just don't use on an individual battery. I know there might be people out there that do, but I can't find a reason why I wouldn't use this to charge the battery. Something like the AC200L or the AC500. And something else that's been removed from this battery is the 12 volt, 10 amp cigarette lighter, which is something Blue Eddy did put on the B300S. And to be honest with you again, this is something that I just don't use either. And this next one is a little bit disappointing for me because this is a USB-A 12 watt port. That's something that I just don't use. Now I would use the USB-C 100 watt or higher, and I wish they would have put that in place of the USB-A port. Again, like they have on the B300S battery. They do have a USB-C 100 watt and a USB-A 18 watt. So I'm not sure why they put a 12 watt on the new B300K, but I think they should have added this one. And that's probably something they could change down the road. I think a lot of people are gonna be calling for that. And this next one is cosmetic. The power button has changed. I really like the old power button. It does look amazing, but I don't like it as well because let's take a look at the old one. And I've always bragged on this button on the Blue Eddy because it just feels stable. And it's got that on their power stations as well. And for me, the button on the units was just as easy to identify as the display that Blue Eddy uses. So I'm not sure if that's something we're gonna start seeing on the new power stations or not, that new power button, but it's not that it's bad. It's just, I like the old power button better. And I think a lot of people will, but this has definitely got that sleek black look to it. And a lot of people are gonna find that it's probably more visually appealing than the old Chrome one that just kind of stands out and glares at you. So it's really just a personal preference. Now here's something new on these Blue Eddy batteries that I really do like. I'm not even sure what they are, but I'm gonna take a wild guess here and say that these are areas where you would put a strap into this and strap down the batteries together so they couldn't topple over. That would be a very smart thing to do because as you start to stack these things up, these are pretty heavy batteries and you wouldn't want them to topple over. So if you had this with four batteries under it, 
you can imagine how tall that would be. And when you start getting that height on these, they do start getting a little top heavy. So it's always a good idea to strap it down somehow. Now, the system that I have over there on my AC 500s, that are just one battery on the bottom. They're very stable. But if I was to go uh, three or four batteries stockable on that, there's uh, I would love to have that option of this strap on the back. And it would be a good idea for Blue Eddy to add that same feature to the inverter itself that sets on top of these things. So maybe that's something we'll see in the future as well as an update there. I've, I'm just guessing that that's what those four bolts are in the back. But if it is, hey, kudos to Blue Eddy for thinking about that and giving us another line of safety from having those batteries or that whole system topple over on you. Where that stockable will get really important is on the AC500 because you could pair up to six of these per one AC500. Two of these on an AC200L and two of these on the AC200 Max and four of them on the AC300. And if I didn't mention it, each one of these batteries are 2,064.8 watt hours of capacity. And on the right side of the battery, you have your two battery expansion ports. And that's what the port actually looks like, which is the same port that we're using on the AC200L. And while I'm moving it, let's get weight on this thing. And it weighs in at 63.2 pounds. If you're connecting this to an AC200L, this format is not gonna work for you because the ports to the battery are on this side, but on the power station, it's on this side. And the cable cannot reach from here over to here. And I'm pretty sure it was designed that way because the AC500 has its battery port coming out the right side, just like the 300S. So in configuration with the AC500, it would work out perfectly for you. But on the AC200L, we can't go vertical like this. I'm gonna have to move this onto this side and then plug it in horizontally. And with this cable, you have a lock and an unlock. Turn this to unlock, take off the cap, pull the cap off of this, and simply push it in until it snaps. And because we're only working with one battery, it doesn't matter which one of these you plug it into, just do the same thing. Now this is facing sideways, so this is not gonna set vertical like that. You're gonna have to twist a little bit and get it put in there. And we just expanded the AC200L from 2,048 watt hours to 4,812 watt hours when we include the B300K battery. And I should point out that you can stock this configuration vertically. If you wanted to turn one in that direction and one facing outward, you can do that. The only problem I have with that is those strap, those secure straps on the back. That would need to be facing toward the wall so you could secure the top battery to a wall so it can't turn over. And then this would be facing toward the wall. But if you're uh, gonna be setting it up in a different configuration where you, it doesn't matter to you whether this is facing backwards and this is facing forward, you could most certainly set this up to where they can stock on top of one another. Personally, I like having the front of this facing me and the front of that facing me. And that's pretty much all that I have for you on the B300K battery. Now, I do wanna try to help you make a decision between the B300S battery and the B300K battery. In my personal opinion, I would pick the B300K battery simply because it's got a smaller form factor and it's lighter. So if you're gonna be moving this thing around a lot, this one is the one you want. If you're in more of a stationary setting, then maybe the B300S battery is the one you wanna go with. Also, is it important to you to have the 12 volt, 10 amp uh, cigarette lighter included? For some of us, it's not. Is it important for you to have the solar charging on just the battery itself? For some of us, it's not. So that's why I would pick the B300K battery. If those things are important to you, then you'd wanna look at the B300S battery because I could do everything that I want out of those 12 volt and the solar charging from the inverter itself. So for me, it's not important, but for some people, they wanna just have the battery to have that capability as well. So you need to pick the B300S battery. But my overall pick between the two batteries would be the B300K.